Hello everybody! Welcome to my Masak with Gita cooking challenge and it's day three and what I'm going to show you is my easy peasy banana cinnamon pancakes. So enjoy! So here's what we're going to use. It's a very simple lot of recipes. We start with oat flour. Now, these are is an oat flour which you can get commercially as well. So that's one cup of oat flour. The next thing is I'm also going to add some almond meal. Alright, about 80 grams of that. And the other things that I like to add would be some... Um, uh, Cinnamon, okay, which is my favorite spice and uh, you can put a little bit more if you want, okay. I normally put in quite a bit, maybe more than a teaspoonful. Okay, and then I also try and add a little bit of um, ginger powder and nutmeg powder because these always give a nice flavor, just a little bit a quarter teaspoon okay of each of those now remember that this recipe does not have any sugar uh, in it tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil a tablespoon of maple syrup there's no added sugar and the only other sugar that we're going to put is from the bananas that we're going to put in. The fresh bananas which I have made into like baby food. That's here it is. Okay, this is going to go in. But let me first put in the milk. And I'm using here almond milk, one cup of almond milk. But you can actually use um, coconut milk as well. Whichever milk that you like, okay. And we're going to mix this together first of all. We need to let the baking powder and baking soda activate, okay? bananas which we have mashed up like as if it's baby food and the last thing that I like to put is a little bit of chia seeds okay and I'm going to put in a tablespoon of chia seeds and again these are chia seeds from Health Paradise as you can see they have some good organic chia seeds so here we go one tablespoon full of chia seeds Okay, so mix that all together and keep it for just about 5 minutes or so, 10 minutes, just to let everything incorporate. It smells so good. I can smell the cinnamon, I can smell the chia seeds. Very soon we are going to now push this into the pan and show you how to create the pancake mixture. We're ready now to make the pancakes and the one thing I would recommend is that you use a nice heavy base pan. We have already doused the pan with some coconut oil. Make sure that the pan is hot, feel for it first and only when it's hot then I want you to put it on, you know, basically a medium heat. It's nice. So here we go, we've got the pancakes all stacked up and you can tell from my voice I'm so excited. You know, I can't wait for it to tuck into this. So first we're going to just drizzle a bit of the maple syrup. Mm, look at that. And then I'm going to put in some of the bananas. So nice. At the side here. 
and I've got a few blueberries, my favorite, and some nuts. Great. What do you think, guys? And you know what? I'm going to also put a little bit of cinnamon. Yeah, that gives it a beautiful, beautiful flavor. It's so nice when you can just cook without thinking too much. Okay, so now I can't wait to get a bite of these, you know. Hold on a second. Wow, look at that stack. Yummy. It's really soft and nice and beautiful. Enjoy!